uh, you guys need to stop listening to this specific type of music and what you should listen to instead. Let's get it. What's going on, y'all? It's your, it's your, it's your boy, Brandon. Help me out and I ain't reached the motherfucking stratosphere. And look, you're not going to be able to reach the motherfucking stratosphere if you continue to get programmed by music as i tell you guys i actually made a video way back about the five agendas that rap music pushes on men i'll tell you guys bro the music you listen to is extremely powerful you know one of the guys that i follow my boy king dre how to be a player he would tell me how bro he doesn't listen to specifically synth music because the music is programming you to do and act on certain behaviors through your subconscious well you guys know about a very very um controversial song that came out about a week and a half ago wop wet ass pussy wedding gushy whatever you want to call it and this is pretty much the thadiana anthem this is the thadiana anthem you know it's funny bro because on twitter last night i was looking that shit up about the wop challenge and we got every single young female saying this we got every single young chick on only saying this we got every single honestly women in western society talking about doing this bro and a lot of people on the video they say oh it's just a video it's just a song that don't influence me if you don't shut the fuck up bro the song is a, a form of programming bro it is a form of programming you guys must understand your brain works two ways it works in a conscious level conscious which is what i'm saying right now you looking at me you hearing the words in my mouth and your brain turning that into a message that you understand that is conscious that's what they say in certain songs like example nba young boy make no sense god damn it make no sense a young boy like that is something that you hear bro but the most thing most the one thing that a lot of people don't understand is on a subliminal on a subconscious level that is what actually get programs into your brain and what is the main thing that you guys hear about the song what is the one thing that when you first heard the song you're like yo bro this shit crazy in the background there's some holes in this huh there's some holes in this huh there's some y'all see me with the high note in this house that's what the subliminal programming was every single person on earth who listens to that song that's what's being programmed into their conscious mind there's some whores in this house and boom when you look at the video who do you see you see two women who are very sexualized and essentially bro the song is getting pushed specifically on young girls bro young men and young girls it's teaching young women who are growing up that there's some whores in this house. So shit, I'ma just go ahead and fucking sucking. You know what I'm saying? I'ma destroy my own life because I'm trying to get some dick, bro. It is what it is. And then for young men, they're seeing that, oh bro, I love hyperly sexualized women. This is the desire I have that makes my dingling go crazy. So I'm finna go for women like this. And bro, I guarantee you in 15, 20 years, the, the type of relationship that's gonna be out there is terrible. That's why if you guys follow my boy Chronicles of Judah, he says that most musicians are witches and they spell cast on the masses. And he's not fucking lying. If you guys understand, you know, how like the spiritual world works a lot of people say that the devil is the god of music and if you guys actually look at the rap videos and r&b videos rock and roll videos if you guys actually listen to what the the music is trying to convey there's always a hidden agenda there's a reason why the people who run the music industry are very powerful uh record executives bro because the only way that you can get on is if you make a certain type of music a lot of you guys ask why is it that this rapper's talking about drugs and you know banging women and killing people and the only type of women who are promoted are ones that talk about being a whore bro because that's what they want to project to the masses people think that oh you know i can just think about something and i can understand it nah bro the reason why you see all these commercials on youtube on your phone is because they're programming your brain bro that is how mind control works bro they show you a specific image repeatedly 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 and to the point where your brain actually starts to ingrain the message and you start to fully believe what goes on that thing there's a reason why i shop at target and not walmart and it ain't because target is better than walmart they're damn near the same the reason why i continuously shop at target is because i fucking worked there for a year and 
four months, bro. And I associated me getting things like food, me getting things like shoes, me getting things like clothes, because I used to go there and I would see Target, I would see Target, I would see people buying, I would see people buying it. And as I got older, that's what I do. A lot of you guys have a, fam a favorite store that you go to if you have the time and the money to go there, because you essentially got programmed to want to go there. Not necessarily just programmed, but that is the pattern that you have. And that's what humans have, especially young kids, bro. When kids are growing up and they're hearing certain things, that's essentially what they're going to get indoctrinated with, bro. And that's why I personally don't, you know, agree with the song. And a lot of people are, oh, bro, you got to let women do what women do. All right, bro. So if you see somebody smoking crack, if you see somebody doing heroin, you just going to let them smoke heroin and fucking kill themselves. If you see a lot of young girls listening to this song, of teaching them how to be whores and you see that the the nuclear family of a society is destroyed and that the society that we live in is destroyed because there is no family structure when you see all these feminist women who say that they got five dudes on their hip but yet they taking antidepressants and they're depressed bro and these girls cannot keep a fucking relationship it's because you guys gotta understand bro most people on this world, most people who make decisions are not in a position to make a smart decision. I'm in sales, bro. I sit and I talk to people and I watch as people who don't have any fucking money risk their livelihood to buy a huge car, to buy a nice Maserati. Or not a Mater Maserati, but a fucking Challenger or a Tesla when these motherfuckers is barely getting by. The reason why so many people are getting fucked over right now isn't because of just the coronavirus. It's because they made a lot of stupid fucking decisions and they didn't actually think because... And just to be quite honest with you, they weren't taught anything. They went to school, they got a degree, but they weren't taught how to manage their money. They weren't taught how to make a smart decision. They were not taught how to think logically versus emotionally. And I'm gonna actually make a video called How to Not Get Finesse. Cause like I tell you guys, I'm in sales. I learned a lot of things about not only manipulation, but mind control. So I'm gonna teach you guys how to not get finesse. But, you know, most people cannot make a true decision. And it's the same thing going on with music, bro. There's a reason why when you go to the club and you get a, around a certain amount of energy, your body gets taken over because music is something that is used for the good and the bad side. If you guys wanna go and play a football game, you wanna get hyped before the game, motherfucker, you finna play Mobamba. What do you do, bro? You get hype and you just go crazy. When you go to the gym and you playing some, let's just be real, you playing some Eminem, lose yourself. That song trash as hell, but you know, if you play it, you might get motivated to hit the waist longer. Same thing happens if your girl broke up and you listening to Drake, bro, you're gonna become a simp and you're gonna reach out to her and you're gonna give her your power. And that's why I told you guys, Around the time when I was dealing with spiritual warfare, bro, I had a lot of pain going on. I had just quit talking to the girl that I fucked with. Um, the thing with Herbalife wasn't working out. Um, I was doing Vivian, it wasn't working out. And I had a lot of anger and I had a lot of pain, bro. And from time to time when I woke up and I would get mad, I would put on NBA Youngboy, I would put on Lil Baby Freestyle, I would put on songs that had an evil tone to it, and I would start thinking evil shit in my thoughts. I would just be thinking all crazy ass thoughts because these entities was coming in me through the music, bro. And I had to snap myself out of it. And I look at my phone like, okay, I'll name this shit Evil Shit Playlist. What the fuck? Like I'm naming a fucking playlist evil. That was not me. Y'all know I'm a good soul. But if you guys aren't careful, you're not gonna understand how the fucking music industry and how music actually works to fucking program and control you, bro. There's a reason why they only play a certain amount of songs on the radio, dog. And it's not because they like the fucking artists. It's because they're the best at projecting these spells and this form of programming into your fucking brain. So look, for you guys, I'm gonna give you guys three tips that you need to do today, bro. If you're a man, bro, stop listening to simp music. Listen to my boy King Dre, How to Be a Player, bro. Do not listen to motherfucking Drake's Lover Boy song, bro, because this is there's a reason why every single generation there's more and more simps because they went from talking about real true shit to now motherfuckers every single male artist you talk about i still see your shadows in my room can't take back the love that i gave you talking about a bitch broke up with her bro broke up with you bro who gives a fuck and i tell you guys when you listen to these songs bro and you in the sunken place in your room and you like oh man i miss her bro she has some good head and she has some good punani you gonna do some dumb shit you gonna start simping and then that's where the mind control comes in with Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion where they said, you better pay me. You better pay me if you want this pussy. While you acting like a simp, she's getting empowered to say, bitch, give me your money. And that's why all of you guys are getting run game on because you motherfuckers don't understand that.
that the music you listen to is telling you to be a simp and it's telling these women to be super empowered and be super masculine they pretty much just switched the roles bro you men became women and women became men and a lot of this came from not only just the tv not only the movies but also the music you listen to limit is tone down the aggressive music or if you listen to very aggressive music go to a place where you can harness and you can let out that energy bro because a lot of times you guys have a lot of aggressive testosterone aggressive energy and you motherfuckers is trying to take that shit out at work you're trying to take that shit out the club motherfuckers about to come and beat your ass you just need to do it when you listening to music at the gym or when you listen to the music on a run or a bike ride then you want to play the aggressive music you know it's funny bro i was freestyling with my boy shikati dog and we was in the fucking car and we was listening to like some freestyles you know what i'm saying i'll tell you i'll be freestyling and shit from time to time and one particular song it said dark aggressive music that was literally the name of the beat and in the song bro i was just spitting and then i started spazzing out and i was like i don't give a damn what you you know remember you remember you guys ever heard the song new slaves by kanye west where he just started spazzing out bro when i was in the car and i was freestyling i was saying shit some vulgar ass shit that's why i'm not gonna repeat it to you guys because like i tell you guys a certain sound that certain music has specific energy and yeah i want you guys to be masculine and toned down and um you know strong but you gotta learn when to do your aggressive shit the reason why a lot of you guys listen to xxx tentacion or meek mill um what's that shit called the one intro song is if you listen to this shit at the wrong time you might kill somebody bro you might go in your car you might drive 110 miles per hour get in the fucking car accident you might listen to kim by eminem after your chick broke up with you and next thing you know you knocking on her door with a revolver bro ready to blow her brains out because you listen to a song about a guy going crazy on his wife bro y'all gotta be very careful about the fucking music y'all listen to because it's transferring energy and the most important thing that you guys need to do is increase your understanding bro the reason why a lot of you guys are controlled by music is because you don't understand what the fucking music really does to you that's why i'm glad you guys are watching me on this video because i'm putting you on game because once i understood that sometimes the music has entities and demons that can come inside of you and control you the music stopped controlling me now from time to time it does but i actually harness the energy of the music and i put it towards some positive me personally when i listen to the music i put it towards the most high and i help strengthen my relationship for those of y'all who don't believe in the most high you can use the music and start thinking about your goals so let's say example you listen to sickle mode and drake is saying she's in love with who i am boom think of yourself as a guy who's a casanova back in high school i used to bust it to the dance think of yourself as a guy who, who just got swag now i hit the fbo with duffels in my hands okay now i'm getting money i'm that dude give me get money i did half a zen 13 hours till i land look, look don't think about taking a zen think about how you go on vacations because you pay bro that's what you got to do with the music and you can only do that with specific types of music that's why as a simp don't listen to no simp music if you want to listen to rap music bro do it like that so look bro i hope i helped y'all out man because like i said i don't want y'all to be mind controlled by this fucking music that you listen to on a daily basis so if you guys enjoyed the video man smash that thumbs up button let me know what you guys thought about in the comment sections and share this video with anybody bro because i do not want to see the next generation become even worse of a sheep because they don't understand what type of music that they listen to and last thing if you're new subscribe to your boy i'm out this motherfucking man Boom.